now just uh, cross our fingers that Mother Nature cooperates with us for the rest of the season. Good morning, it's Saturday morning, May 23rd, I think. My battery died last night when I was kind of wrapping up the end of the day. I was tired, uh, just frustrated, a few breakdowns and uh, things that were slowing us up yesterday. So uh, not, a, not a super fun day, but we got a lot done. Jack actually ran the Joker across a couple hundred acres yesterday uh, getting the edible bean ground ready. Sandy helped plant beans uh, so between her and I we planted 140 acres of beans and I got out last night in the sprayer and sprayed 64 acres of IP soybean ground so uh, we got a bit of a fog this morning a haze it's hard to see but I can't really spray until it kind of burns off a bit so uh, well, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna finish spraying the IP ground to this morning and get the rest of the soybeans planted hopefully by morning and then uh, maybe start planting some edible beans here uh, today yet. We'll see how it goes. But I think while I'm waiting for it to dry off, I'm gonna get that fertilizer spitter off that loader tractor and onto our roller. Uh, I've had a couple of videos with a roller in it, a uh, land roller, and basically it's a big steel drum that we run across the ground to push stones back down and make the ground uh, a little flatter for us to run our combine header across to clip the beans. Uh, beans tend to get really uh, pod, put pods close to the ground, so we have to stay pretty low to the ground with our cutter bar on our, our header and uh, just to deal with some of the stones that we have around here, what we do is we replant them and uh, use that big steel drum to smush them back into the ground. So Sandy's gonna probably run that for me today and go across some of this ground that we uh, got planted into soybeans or Jess can, somebody can. And uh, I'll get the planter hooked back up to the 8R that was on the Joker Get the soybeans finished, get some spraying done, and yeah, lots to do, lots to do. Change of scenery, I'm back in my favorite tractor, the 8295R with the E23 transmission hooked back up to the planter. And Sandy and I uh, just filled it with 24 bags of seed. It's not gonna last very long, probably 20 acres because we gotta plant about 110,000 seeds per acre for these black beans. So, I'm a little hot, a little sweaty. Sandy's gonna roll the uh, field uh, close to us that way she's nearby to bring me seed. We're gonna to have to fill up, as I said, uh, pretty often. So she's gonna kind of be my seed shuttle to help me out. And uh, just gonna head out and try planting edibles, black beans, some Zoros. So far, so good. Uh, as you can see, the Alari cart, uh, the front fertilizer uh, application part of it is up because I'm not using dry starter on this farm uh, we put a whole bunch of chicken manure on it uh, last fall and then put a cover crop in so i uh, didn't think it needed the fertilizer uh, jack bulk spread some urea on here there the other day and as i said jokered it yesterday so it's planting quite nice and uh, things seem to be going pretty smooth i'll need some seed here in about oh six acres seven acres and we'll fill it up all over again small electrical issue on my planter blew a fuse on a wire 
uh, it fell out and grounded out on the disc. So it's an impromptu seed fill up. It's getting everything ready to go. Slug fest. Slug fest. For those who don't know what black beans look like, they look like navy beans. But navy beans are white beans. But beans can be confusing. These have a seed treatment on them. Uh, they're black and the blue is a seed treatment. For fungicides, insects, uh, leaf hoppers are really bad for edibles early. So we put a like insecticide seed treatment on it to help that through and f uh, fungicides because prone to root rots. So anyways, it's going pretty good. Now that I got my electrical issue figured out. We'll just take a look to see if we can find one. There they are, right there. Nice. Little black bean. Looks good, lots of soil moisture. We'll get this, uh, these closed up and get the tractor started back up and all the electronics. Make sure everything works, should, because uh, it uh, lights came on when I got the new fuse in. So, anyways, a little excitement for a Saturday. Different cab, different job. Taking a day off of planting edibles. We got the 69 acres planted here yesterday. I'm actually rolling it down right now. As you can see, the roller behind me. Sandy probably has some footage of one of her vlogs about her rolling some soybean ground. Same principles, we're just trying to put down the stones uh, and we'll grab some really big ones that kind of came up that the roller will just kind of bounce over top of. I just had uh, my display for my GPS crash on me and uh, not good. So I'm just gonna reset it here, start rolling and try to get a couple fields done. There's kind of some pop-up thunderstorms around. That's kind of why I'm not playing white beans. Uh, just because I don't want to get kind of caught half planted a field so tomorrow looks a little bit better so we'll put a really big day in tomorrow and we should be good uh, on that side of things but yeah just picking away we're I feel like I'm in a panic but we're in really good shape to be honest I just gotta breathe uh, I keep jumping ahead looking at the jobs I gotta do and I get kind of panicky and thinking I gotta get this done so I can get the next job done but we're in good shape so I gotta appreciate uh, where we're at that we got time to get stuff done and uh, just gotta roll with the punches a little bit so could be a lot worse and I gotta remember that too so anyways I'm gonna beat the crap out of some technology here and uh, hopefully we get rolling rained out I'm it was wet over where I was. I didn't really get any footage because I didn't want to get my camera wet. Uh, trying to get the roller out of the field and fold it up. But there's no puddles there and I got home. And there's puddles all over. Well, today is a very exciting day. It's May 26. And it will be the last day of plant 2020 for us. I had a good day yesterday. I forgot the camera, and uh, I'll be in the. I'll be honest. I really wasn't in a mood to film. Not much that was exciting, to be honest. Uh, we got the canola sprayed, which was nice with the fungicide. Then I kind of jumped into planting edibles and pushed pretty hard at it, and we got uh, a good chunk uh, planted. Some people ask what edibles are. Uh, edible beans are white beans, black beans, kidney beans, cranberry beans, all those beans that we tend to eat in our diet. Uh, and I would probably say from a farming standpoint, anything that isn't a soybean, we would call an edible bean. Even though soybeans are edible, uh, just kind of the way it is. So we grow them because uh, they make a little bit more money per acre for us. Uh, they're a higher value because uh, they're higher risk. Uh, but we've been growing edibles on the farm for a lot of years. My grandpa grew them, my dad had grown them, and I grow them. So we know how to grow them, I guess, and we're uh, willing to take the risk around them because uh, we feel comfortable doing that. So I plant white beans and black beans. Uh, the black beans got planted there on Saturday, and uh, yesterday and today we're planting white beans. So 
I planted 100 acres yesterday, which is a pretty big day because a bag of edible bean seed only plants an acre. So we got to fill up uh, fairly often. So we filled up uh, a lot yesterday and it's warm. It's so warm here. Uh, we went from uh, winter to summer. It's like 30 degrees with a humidex of 36 or 37. So really not uh, normal for, well, I guess it is normal for May, but uh, it's just a bit of a drastic change for us Canadians. So we sweat a lot and I have been sweating. So I'm gonna get fired up here, get going. I got the drone with me. We'll get maybe some drone footage of uh, playing here in some of this Joker corn stalks and uh, cross our fingers, we will be done today. And then uh, I got a bit of a marathon session of spraying to get caught up on. So the work never.
just relaxing in the air-conditioned tractor cab. Just took uh, some time to get some drone footage uh, of the last day of planting. Jack's rolling uh, the ground beside me here. I planted this farm over there oh, yesterday and Jack's there rolling it. I got it sprayed this morning. I kind of like to spray it then roll it because the rolling uh, and mixing of the dirt, not that there's a lot with the roller, it helps uh, kind of incorporate or push the chemical in the soil. Uh, so I got uh, the two other fields sprayed like I said and then I'll get this one sprayed after I'm done planting it and Jack will probably roll it tomorrow and uh, we still have a couple fields to roll after that. I have a couple videos uh, on my channel of harvesting edible beans last year where I talked a bit about stones and what stones can do to a combine and uh, Excuse me. I had one so bad last year. I actually had to take the head off the combine in the field and, and remove the stone that was kind of wedged between the header and the combine itself. They're hard to see. We have so much trash because we're trying to do minimum till here, and stones are hard to see. So even when Jack's rolling, and he'll grab big ones that kind of come up or you know stuff that's kind of the size of your head or ones that won't get pushed back in the ground. He'll try to grab those. Uh, but with the residue, it's so hard to see all of them. So well, I, when I combine this fall, I just have to keep my eyes open and always kind of paying attention to make sure that none of them get inside my combine. But uh, yeah, so we're just kind of down to the short strokes here on plant planting uh, this year. And really all that's kind of left for me in terms of field work is spraying. Uh, some herbicides to control weeds in our crops and we got uh, two fields we have to roll still that uh, the beans are too close to come out of the ground because if the beans are coming out of the ground you can break them off with the roller so we have to wait for probably a couple weeks on those ones before we can roll them and then I think uh, we got a side dress so we just corn uh, we like to put uh, another shot of nitrogen on it fertilizer and we'll do that uh, probably in about three weeks two weeks probably so we have to get ready for that so there's still lots of stuff to do uh, but the kind of the heavy burden of seeding and planting is kind of done today or will be done today and uh, it just kind of makes life a little bit nicer because that pressure is going on. well just finished putting the last hopefully Wow, I won't be. I think there's two bags I might need to finish the farm, but we just put the last 24 bags of uh, edible beans inside the planter. So I stopped to fill the planter and stopped to fill me. And I am a little ashamed to say that my lunch is maybe not the best from a nutrition standpoint. A couple pepperettes, a can of soda water, and. Uh, bag of my favorite dill pickle chips I'll, I'll eat healthier when I'm done trust me when I'm done planting I'll eat healthier well it has not got any cooler outside this is the third time we've stopped to uh, kind of spread seed across the hoppers and put a couple of bags in just to get me to finish so I only have I don't know a couple thousand a thousand feet to go and we're done that is planted, that is planted, this is not planted. The last 30 feet to go for plant 2020. To be honest, plant 2020 has gone very smoothly. Uh, we had some, actually just one, two, two rain delays, which is not bad at all. And things have planted pretty good. Now just, uh, cross our fingers that mother nature cooperates with us for the rest of the season so I'm going to engage my remote I'm going to put the clutch in put the tractor in gear I'm gonna finish this job and that will be a wrap so now that we're done planting I figured 
I come and check the crops. Uh, I finally had some time here to get out and look at some stuff. We got some issues with one soybean field that looks like we might have to actually replant. They've only been planted about two weeks, but the soil went really tight around the seed trench uh, where the seeds were planted and they're, they're breaking off and they're just not not coming through very well and the stand is about half of what it's well not even half of what it should be it's a third of what it should be so anyway it's kind of crappy anyway i wanted to give you a sense of what the canola is like so i'm going to walk into the canola field here and it was sprayed Bees and pollinators. But look, let me see if I can get a, a good sense of how tall this is. I can't, uh, I can't walk in it, but it's like, it's like up to here on me. It's ridiculous and it smells beautiful, but it's, uh, it's going pretty good and we got actually pod, pods forming already. So down here, uh, the flowers and they get fertilized and it turns into see flowers fell off there's a pod so yeah pretty excited gonna get the drone up here this is uh we actually probably missed peak flower uh it's probably uh it's gonna flower for a while yet because there's still some uh buds but most of it's kind of gone through so uh my timing for the fungicide was perfect and I'll get the drone up, but uh, looks pretty cool.